the cars I own. Start off with the older ones first. This is a H seven thousand WA. But the uh, only thing I did to it, uh, replaced the pickups, they were shot and completely rusty on in the inside and put a new set of, uh, these are like more or less, I think, correct for the age of the guitar, you know, early to mid 80s, Ibanez uh, Starback tuners, the Gotos, the stars on them, fit in there fairly decent. No problems. Everything works. It's another Harmony. Got it in this uh, old case that I more or less rescued. Old Gibson hard shell case that I got to re put the tape back on it again. When I got a hold of it, it was split and torn apart. And I just poured glue in all the cracks and it sealed it up. So, open her up here. A lot of people talking about relic guitars. Um, I haven't done much to this one except for clean it, you know, make sure it's not dried out totally. It's got all kinds of nicks and dings in it everywhere. Replace the knobs, original, original. Change the pickups again, they were all rusted out in the pickup rings. And uh, tuners were on it when I got it, they're uh, Wilkinson's decent, and it's got a lot of gouges and this and that in it. And, banged up spots. Model number on this one though, I, I don't recall. I've seen a few of them online where they have the model number, but I don't recall what this one is. It resembles um, uh, one of the Gibson Invaders from this year. The Gibson Invaders had a bolt-on neck very similar. That is my second Harmony. Second and only. The last one. I only have two. It's in that case really nice. With an extra t-shirt shoved under it. Remember this guitar case from a previous video? because it's definitely not a Gibson case. <laughs> Got it at a rummage sale. Couldn't pass it up. Ten bucks. Probably wasn't even worth ten dollars. But hey, keeps it from getting banged around and that's all it's supposed to do. You know, not using it to break down doors. And then this one, Is um, a Glenn Burton. Oh my god, it's full of stars. 
can barely read the name because of the metal flake on it. This one, uh, all I did to this one was put a different uh, bridge on it. The other one was the one with that uh, crazy uh, spring across it. And when I removed the spring, it didn't like that, so I didn't like it. <laughs> Glenn Burton. I haven't seen a lot of these. It was They were selling them for a while online, and now I look for them now. They must be all gone. It was supposed to be a limited edition. I guess it was. Two ESP LTDs I have. Viper 100 FM. It's so dark you can barely see the flame under it. But. And this one I have not done much except for change strings. Pretty much CD stock. Viper 330. A lot of those are set necks, but this one is not a set neck. This is a Viper 330. Uh, like a green burst thing. It has active pickups in it, and it has the, the burst on the headstock. We'll see if that'll show up or not. It might, it might not. There we go. Um, very nice. All stock. Haven't changed a thing on it. These were um, like made for, um, they sent them to shows like NAM and stuff to test to see uh, whether anybody would like to purchase them. I think they did do a run of them, but the ones that they did run did not have the flame on the headstock, I don't think. But yeah, this flight case that I'm keeping in in another video. Slammer, Hammer Slammer, Flying V. Change the uh, bridge and that's it. Cleaned it up. Oh, I did put a, a volume pot in. It needed a volume pot. Uh, this one was... I do not usually have it in the case because I'm always, for some reason, always reaching for this one. I don't know why. But, uh, Hammer Slammer Fine V. Okay, we've come to the end. This one will be the last electric that I have. It's my, um, Hondo. Seven sixty seven. It's upside down. No, it is not. Seven sixty seven. Flying V. I don't I haven't named a lot of my guitars, but I did name this one. Oh this one Rodan. After the uh, Toho Monster Rodan. And I'm in the headstock. Or in the under the truss rod cover. Uh, that was 
a truss rod or the the back plate see through. That one is as well a little bit. And this one is is pretty much as it was when I got it other than uh, the repairs that were done. 15 out of the 21 frets were lifted. I do not have the proper tools to fix that. Required a fret press. So that was something that had to be done. I fixed one and then looked at the rest and I was like, oh no, out of my league. He's in tune nice. Oh, replaced the tuners. Put the uh, black Wilkinson inlines on it. And that's in it. closing, I'd just like to say watch out for headed drivers and everyone have a happy Halloween. If you don't hear from me again until after then.